Welcome. I'm David. I'm Lindsay. And, and this, this is Statesman's, Statesman's Donders. This is New Upper Dower Beach. We came yesterday. There was a great big motorhome here. We had his Jenny running last night, but thankfully he's gone. Uh, we're not stopping today, we're going on. But I thought I'd take you to Jane White's memorial first. So, scaring off the birds. view. There's Desmond. There's the two caves. And the tide's in at the minute. So there's not much of a beach. But the beach is very shingly. And sore on your feet when you're wearing sandals. So, let's carry on to the memorial. It's quite a big car park. Apparently there's a lot of fuss about campers being here. There's, there seems to be everywhere. switch off a minute. So here's the footbridge across the little river. I'm surprised it's running at all considering the lack of rain we've had. But we'll see. It was raining last night for all of about three minutes. It seems to be short spurts and that's it. And this is the path to the Jane White Memorial. It's quite lucky it's Tuesday, so the place is pretty quiet, apart from dog walkers. And here we go. Jane White, the Aberdour Tower heroine, mother of night, saves shipwreck crew of 15. She died on the 3rd of August 1918 and is buried in New Cemetery along with her husband. Apart from her nine children, she had at least 52 grandchildren and many great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren and great-great-great-grandchildren. Many are still in the northeast world, others have spread round the world from Australia to Canada. Many awards for saving the lives of the 15 crew, one of which gave her the money to build a house or buy a house for her, her husband and her nine children. This is a memorial for her, 
This memorial erected by public subscription to commemorate the heroism of Jane White, who from her Croft house here at Walk Mill on the morning of the 28th of October 1884 brought ashore a lifeline through a raging sea and saved 15 men from the wreck of the William Hope. The sea it shall not have them, designed by her great-grandson, R. Fraser, unveiled by her grandson, James White, 28th of October, 1986. And I believe, although I can't confirm it, this is where she actually lived. But you can see the entire beach from here. view from the well. And there's the said well. St. Rosalind's well. There you go. It seems to be clouding over again, but we'll carry on. So far since yesterday, I have picked up three socks, a scarf, three full bottles of juice, two of them still in the film that should wrap the four bottles together. Don't know where the fourth one was, couldn't find it. Uh, rope, plastic, caps, straws, paper. Gift tag. <laughs> Umpteen bits of crap. And the couple on the other side of the car park who are parked on the grass, not on not actually on the car park, she goes round picking up rubbish as well. So, I was talking to both of them yesterday. And when I was up at the graveyard last night, I picked up the remainders of what I can only imagine was strimming wire that they just left willy nilly. And tins, sweetie papers, you name it. Thankfully there's bins here, so it all just gets dumped in the bin. <laughs> Don't understand why people do it. I'll never understand it.
bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We're meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.
Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.